Hello everybody, I am Mallory and this is Be Mal's Guest. Every week you can join me. I'm so excited that you're here with me. I hope that you enjoy it. Let's get cooking. Well, we were going to have her walk in, but because we are a uh, professional crew here, we are attached. <laughs> so, I would like to welcome <laughs> my good friend, Kristen Keough. Hi, thanks for having me. You guys have no idea how many times I stress texted Kristen and I gave up before I even started and she always uh, was very encouraging. I mean, she didn't tell me it was easy because it's not easy. Well, the good news is I have my own blog and YouTube stuff going on and I am a videographer and so I understand meltdowns. I say, calm down, <laughs> have a drink and think it out. We have way more meltdowns now as adults than we ever did in our sorority. Um, so today we're going to do uh, an awesome tzatziki because I love tzatziki. We're also going to make a yummy, one of my favorite, favorite salads. You love pita jungle. We have pita jungle here in Arizona. I pretty much like everything. They have this salad there that I love and I kind of recreated it. It has lentils in it, but like I don't have lentils sitting around the house. I like to use up what I already have and I always have brown rice. That's true. They both yeah. have protein, healthy carbs. When I eat a salad, I have to eat a ton of salad to feel full. If I yeah. have rice on it, and I know it sounds weird, I swear to you, it's so good. No, I love we'll having see. rice or quinoa on salad. Right? It's, it's a good combo. It I'm like you. I need to feel full. Yeah. This is a new year. I know like a lot of people kick off their new year with resolutions and, yeah. so, and many of those are to get healthy whether that's to exercise more or eat better and the easiest most affordable way to eat better is to cook so <laughs> let's get started oh, I figured I can start cutting the shallot she says shallot I don't know what that is it looks like an onion to me it's a type of onion it's, it's like a shallot, shallot of onion because it's a shallot but do you know scallions and chives are types of onion I call them green onions well, but, you know, that's actually accurate. They're really good. They're sweet. And I, like, okay. red onion is very, almost horrifying. You guys, she actually knows what she's talking about. Well, I like to cook. Um, so you can just grab three of those off. Okay. Use this as a pitch bowl. That way, we're not, you know. Are you saying I'm making too much of a mess? Yeah, I'm like already anxious about the mess. Um, Let me make sure I clean all this up. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll have a heart attack over here. So I'm just rough chopping the shallot because we are going to cook it down. So um, if anyone cooks a lot of onion, you know, it'll cook down pretty small anyways. We're going to combine it with the rice. Let's go ahead and get running um, with this shallot. What we're going to do is we're going to cook it on like medium heat in about a tablespoon of olive oil and it'll okay. just cook down kind of caramelized. It'll be really, really yummy. Like I said, I've already cooked the rice. I'm using a whole cup of rice and however much rice you're cooking, you just double the water. We are going to use half a cup um, per the meal we're making today, we'll use the other portion with the leftovers episode. We're going to bring this to a boil. Once it's all boiling, we'll reduce the heat to simmer, put a lid on it, and we'll let it simmer for 45 minutes. We're also going to be making tzatziki. Mm, I, you know, I've never known the proper way to say that word. I call it tzatziki. tzatziki. I think I've always said tzatziki. Yeah, well, it starts with a T. Since you're working on the garlic, this is like such a great learning lesson. <laughs> Give me this. No, this is not right. how you do it. Do it. You want to know how I do it? No. I buy the bag of the ones that are already peeled. That's how I do it. Kristen, have it like you do. It's still got that outside lit shell on it. You take your knife, you put it on top of it, and then you hit it. And look it. The outside just comes right off. On the garlic, why don't you go ahead? A garlic press is like one of my favorite kitchen tools. Never use one. It's so easy. So you're just going to stick one of the pieces of the garlic in there. And you're literally going to press it right into that bowl for me. Whoa! Isn't that cool? And you can use the knife to kind of get the, the rest off. And while you're doing that, I'm just going to peel one of these cucumbers in there. So we talked about this earlier. Garlic comes in a lot of different sizes. You know your taste preferences. So if you like really garlicky, use two huge cloves. I've got this cucumber that I just took the skin off. Now, recipes are going to tell you to cut it in half, take all the seeds out. I am like not that picky, and I think it's okay to take shortcuts. And I promise you this will turn out just as good. You don't have to use it all. Just let me you enjoy know. this. Okay? I am so sorry. Don't let me tell you what to do. All right, so we have the clove and a half, two cloves. You did it. So, of garlic now. Shred in there. So, use a big shredder this entire cucumber into this bowl. Okay. Um, and while you do that, I need to stir the shallot. All right. 
Our shallot is cooking away. I'm gonna turn that down just a stitch. It smells amazing. Yeah. What do I do with this little nut? You just put it in the discard bowl. Now we need to put in a cup of Greek yogurt. And it's just plain Greek yogurt? This is plain, full fat Greek yogurt. Mm. Like I said, I don't measure anything. I just, I know what a cup looks like and that's what we're gonna put in. So we've got that in there. Now, a quarter of a lime, we're gonna put a little more inside of lime. I mean lemon, this is a lemon. Lemons are yellow. I wasn't sure if I should like half a lemon. Or not. Always correct. So we're gonna just squeeze that in there. We'll do some salt. Oh, yeah, how much? Half a teaspoon. And pepper, we want like a quarter. And then we need a tablespoon of olive oil. All right, give that a give that a whirl. I'm going to just quick chop some of this dill. So we need about um, a tablespoon of dill. I always put a little bit more, um, just because I like dill and I think that's a really big component of good tzatziki. Um, you don't want to over chop any type of herb. It actually bruises them. So I've already chopped up some romaine and some kale. We are going to cut off this bottom core part. I also trim the edges. You don't have to. I just feel like they're a little wilty. And then we're just merely going to shred this up. For the kale, I always remove this inner stem here because it's just not good to eat. It's really, really tough. The reason I added the kale, it has more nutritional value. And these salad spinners just make it really easy to get all the water off. And they're so it. fun! Let me try! I'm going to let you be in charge of the toppings. The okay. toppings for this are so easy. You just dice this up. You probably only want half or so. Are you a cucumber with Skin off type of girl or skin on? Skin on. And that's actually where a lot of the nutrients are. I've never diced a cucumber. Yeah, it's perfect. Then you're gonna cut up <laughs> some of these uh, cherry tomatoes as well. I will work on a salad dressing. Making dressings is the easiest thing ever. Okay, so we have a uh, clove of garlic in here. Uh, we're gonna use half a uh, lemon. So we'll just squeeze that into here. And then we're gonna add some Grey Poupon, where I like the tanginess of using like a Dijon mustard. We're also gonna use a teaspoon of grated Parmesan. If you don't have grated Parmesan, don't use it. Don't go to the store and buy it. But I like the saltiness of it. Um, I just think it adds, and it's kind of adds some nice texture. Add salt and pepper, that helps bring out the flavors. And then we'll put in olive oil to bring it all home. So you have about two tablespoons. I of like the sound oil. effect. You know, that's how I do things. So easy and delicious. You get to try it. That is good. Look at this. It's where the magic happens. Mm. Can I use the spoon that I put in my mouth? Technically, no. But since it's all, this is my show, so yes. <laughs> do you know what the last thing it needs is? Dill. No. Shallows, right? Yes. This is the important part, A, because it's good, and B, because this is what fills you up. So we've got this um, brown rice mixed with the shallot. We're just going to put that on top there. All right. So we'll mix all of that. We'll plate, and we'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Thanks for doing this first little episode of Female I'm so Guest excited Guest. for you. Thank you. This is going to be too. so fun. It really is. And I learned so much today. I mean, I feel like you did. Which is not what I anticipated together. I already together. know everything. I get it. Well, you kind of come off as a know-it-all. <laughs> I don't know how I put up with her. Oh my gosh, this tzatziki is so good. I'm loading up. It's simple, delicious. There's a lot of flavor. I like it. The good news yeah. is, though, they were ingredients that, again, you probably already have. Because I think that what is... <coughs> Excuse me. She loves it. So much. She's dying. <laughs> Seriously, like when you want to make something and yeah. there's this long list of like a million ingredients exactly. that you have to go out and buy, I'm like instantly over it. Yeah. And I don't want you to forget, and I certainly don't want them to forget, every Monday we'll launch a video. You okay. are my first video. This is episode one. So, and this is the important part. Episode two is going to be, I'm going to make a completely different meal using the leftover rice and shallot and this leftover tzatziki. Great concept, yes. I love it. Do you have New Year's resolutions? I cannot believe you didn't call me out on what my New Year's resolution is already. You know what it's gonna be. This girl, oh my, she bites her nails and it just, I cannot. It's, How a girl this pretty and talented it's disgusting. and smart, I'm not being dramatic. 
They're disgusting. I know. I know. So what's your New Year's resolution? This. Mm. I want to commit to be mouse guests. I want to do it even when it's hard, even when I'm cranky about it or crying because something didn't go my way. Because the reality is anything you care about, it's not going to be easy. No. And I think it's going to be really fun. It's going to be a journey. Um, but I have a great community of people. I would love to do a crossover with here with her. At oh, some yeah, point. for sure. If we can make that happen. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel and blog centered around hiking. Yep. So next time I'm going to make you go hiking with me. I will come hiking. It's I'll fun. make the treats. We can take snacks okay. with us. Perfect. Well, this has been so fun. So fun. Thank you so much for being my first guest on Be Mal's Guest. It's an honor. It was lovely. Thank you guys for being my guest today. And be sure to stay tuned for episode two. There's plenty more fun to come. And we've got leftovers to use. In the meantime, we're just going to eat and enjoy each other's company. How do you think it went? I think it was good. Just don't ever make me eat salad again. Mom, well, it's like the new year. People are dieting. got to be, you know, relevant. I don't think that's important. To some people. There were some struggles at times. But I think overall it went pretty well. I mean, I think as long as you just hit the record button a little more often, it'll be good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's smart. Oh, can you clean the kitchen? Hell no. Good talk. <laughs>